All right, eBayers, it's a beautiful day here in Florida. I'm uh, making a short video of the 1985 Buick LeSabre um, garage find that I have listed now. I'm going to walk you around it real quick and show you some stuff about it. Do a quick test drive. This is an 85 Buick LeSabre Custom, and um, I found this a few weeks ago at a garage sale of all places and I'm normally into older muscle cars but when I saw this car I just had to have it this is a 307 Oldsmobile V8 this car has been garage kept one family owner since November of 1985 and it was I think I said it was garage kept 60,000 original miles and the color is light sage. Everything under the hood's intact except for the there's like a snorkel pipe that goes from there to the air cleaner. Everything else is completely intact and is in excellent condition. Uh, the AC blows cold. It is still R12 to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, I still got the R12 fittings on it. I don't see any signs of a retrofit on it, but it's freezing cold. Um, the hood light doesn't work, but I don't ever fix those because I have a tendency to leave hoods up for a while and the battery goes dead. And the prop struts or the, the little hydraulic cylinders that hold the hood up are bad, so I use this stick. Close this. <clears throat> big heavy hood um, when I got it the bumper fillers were gone so I ordered some off the internet from Muscle Man Muscle Man Productions or something it's called and had paint matched and painted them and put them in myself um, they look pretty good Actually, the front one looks really good. The back one, I think they deliberately make it a little bit bigger than it needs to be to accommodate different cars, but the overlap was a little bit sloppy, but it sure does look a lot better than not having any at all. Um, this is a Conley Buick. It was bought brand new here in Bradenton, Florida. There's not one speck of rust in this car anywhere. The chrome needs a little bit of, I guess, buffing a little bit. The old man that had this car waxed it constantly, so there's traces of wax everywhere. Um, I spent a couple hours getting wax out of cracks and stuff, but it could probably use a professional detail. However, with that said, the car looks brand new, basically. There's no accident damage that I can find anywhere. And again, no rust. Just traces of wax around the emblems and stuff. It's quite a bit of wax. But that's a good thing. There's some uh, scratches right along this side. A little, a little dense. It looks like, to me, where he parked in his garage may have been right next to another car and he opened the door into this car quite a bit but this is really no big deal um, it could be touched up pretty easy I think there's a couple little dings on it a couple light scratches but it's got nearly new tires on it tire stones and white walls at that all the lights work I did replace the grill, the GM original grill, because the other one had a crack in it. And then this bumper guard right here has been glued back on. So apparently the old guy must have hit something at one time or backed into something and tore that off. But it looks nice. And there's a couple of scratches here and there, but I do have the the paint that I bought with the bumper fillers that will match the car. The 
massive trunk. How's that for a big trunk? No rust anywhere. It's clean, clean, clean. I replaced all the bulbs and the tail lights and the backup lights. Everything works perfect on that. Paint's real nice under here. We got our RPO, which is kind of short for this car, I think. Let's check out the interior a little bit here. Now the interior, I didn't do anything to. I didn't clean it, I didn't wipe it down, I didn't do anything. The headliner is starting to sag a little bit above the passenger side visor only. Um, I didn't clean, like I said, I didn't wipe anything off. This is exactly how the car was when I got it. Here's the back seat. I don't think the back seat's ever been sat in. There's a couple of spots on the carpet, especially under the driver's doormat. It looks like the guy may have stepped in tar. Not what I said, the driver's doormat, the floor mat, I should say. But it looks like it'll come up. I started to take a little bit of it up, but really it needs a professional cleaning, I think. But as you can see, it's very presentable the way it is. Um, I think there's one little rubbed off spot in the carpet in the lower footwell on the passenger side. But hey, you know, 29 year old car, it looks great. So let's take it for a little spin. I'm going to start it while the camera's outside so you can hear how easy it runs. It didn't touch the gas or anything, it just fires right up and idles perfect. Alright. Um, the radio. By the way, I have the AC on, so it, it works great. Radio. Still sounds pretty good, but the left front speaker doesn't work for some reason. Um, all the owner's manuals are in the dash, in the glove box. The gauge works. I say gauge because it's only got one. Tilt wheel, cruise control. It doesn't have the fancy Buick options like Twilight Sentinel. It doesn't have leather seats. This is just a Le Sabre Custom. The little shift indicator works good. So we'll take it for a little jolt here. That's what it looks like out over the hood. As you can see in that crack right there between the hood and the front fender, there's a accumulation of wax. This guy must have waxed his car like once a week or something his whole life. The car rides perfect. All the speedometer works real smooth. The transmission shifts perfect. Effortless steering. Seat's still nice and firm. Look out the rear view mirror there. It's just a really, really nice car. This is back when Buick still made. Well, it's back, I guess I was about 12 when this car was brand new, and these are the Buicks I remember when you would go to the restaurant on Saturday night, especially like a seafood restaurant here in Florida. And February, there'd be a whole bunch of these parked out front from all the snowbirds that came down and drove these cars. Um, of course, now you never see them. They just don't. They just don't exist anymore. So I'm going to take this back to my house and put it on eBay. If you have any questions, you can call me. My name's Jason. Seven two zero zero three zero zero. Thanks for watching.